Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick video today about this latest gimbal that I've been using. Uh, this is the Moza Air 2S. I've been using this for uh, about a month. Uh, this is not a review, I'm gonna release an actual in-depth review, but today the, the gimbal officially actually came out. So if you guys wanna place a you know, pre-order on this, you can, as always, follow the links in the description. But if you're just kind of wondering what's new and exciting about this gimbal, well, basically, it's, it's, it is actually in a way very similar to the, the Moza Air 2. So everything that works with the previous gimbal is still here, but obviously it has some improvements. Overall, I just like the design, the look of it, and then the way that it's actually built. It's all, you know, solid materials. There's none of that sort of flexing plastic like they had in, in the previous version. Uh, it also has an improved battery, it has a 3200 milliamp hour battery that will last you for 20 hours if you're just using the gimbal kind of standard. But in this case, as you can see, I'm actually powering the Packet 4K uh, camera and I'm also powering the, uh, the iFocus, the Moza iFocus uh, gear here. So with that, obviously it's gonna go through the battery a bit quicker, but still it lasts you easily a whole day, like 10 hours shooting, no problem. So, so far really lo loving it. It is a little bit lighter also than the previous gimbal. One thing I really like is how this little basic improvement on the wheel here that they did. So you have this little handle to it that you can flip out and that just allows you like for example with your thumb if you want to just control the focus. So you see I have my Moza uh, iFocus M unit here and as I'm moving this it allows me to quickly just basically set my focus points. And yes, they still have this really awesome uh, digital display here in the back. So it allows you to easily change all the settings. Now you can connect this obviously to the, their phone app and you can change all the settings that way. And then using the phone, you can also uh, do, for example, object tracking. So you can put the, your phone on top of the camera uh, and it will actually direct the gimbal and will track objects, things like that. You can set up the time lapse, you know, all kinds of things. But personally, I love, you know, when I have a gimbal that does not require me to take out my phone. Or for example, if my phone battery dies or something. Uh, it's good to have that digital display and this really does help. Let's say you really quickly want to just change the, the speed of the follow mode. So you can just literally turn this dial and that, you know, you can see right away on the screen what your setting is. I usually leave it in 50. So it's 50 out of 100. But let's say I want to also change the, I don't know, maybe go into inception mode. Just double click there on my buttons. And by the way, you can customize all of these buttons. Uh, but yeah, you can quickly go into inception mode. You can actually have normal, you have 180, 360 inception mode. They have a lot of cool presets. And again, because of this display, it's easy to switch between them. Um, if, for example, let's say if I want to go into uh, FPV mode, so it you know, follows on all the axes, including the roll axes. So in short, if you like the Moza Air 2, you're gonna love the Moza Air 2S because it just has those few little improvements that make it that much better. And I think honestly right now it is definitely one of the top gimbals you know, on, uh, on my list. So I'm gonna continue using this so I can give you guys a more in-depth review uh, and some cool example shots. But if you guys wanna, like I said, pre-order this one, again, just follow the links in the description of the video. Thank you, my name is Tom and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.